So I told you I'd uh, be back to normal, so it's another sad day in some ways that uh, Ed and Rachel left the marina, but I'm getting to, I'm actually on a boat boat, actually moving, and this is, I'm embarrassed to say it's myself, but this is actually the first time I've ever steered a narrow boat. So it's, uh, I mean, I get the hand, it's a bit tricky. It's obviously, I know you have to go the wrong way. So I'm going to need to turn that way. So I need to go that way, but yeah. So, <laughs> so we're just heading up to, I'm going to come up to Foxton Locks and then get back to the boat if we don't crash it. But thanks. I mean, obviously really sad to say, uh, see uh, Ed and Rachel go. They're going to Marina near, near where they live, which is obviously a lot more convenient. Yeah? <laughs> I got it. <laughs> but don't speak too soon. Successfully just about got it through the bridge for the first time. <laughs> Thank you, Ed. <laughs> Ed's actually trusted me on my... I'm all here up on my own. My goodness. So here we are at the uh, famous Foxton Locks. Two sets of five, uh, five staircase locks. So in, in with a bang, as it were. And we're off. So I've been volunteered to be the uh, lockie at the moment. Uh, they've actually got the CRT volunteers here, which is a good job so they know what they're doing because it's, uh, it's quite a complex lock system this and uh, there are a number of paddles and prints. So there are these red ones which you have to do. So there's, uh, there's, a, there's the lockie down there. And uh, basically, because it's all staircase, if you don't do them properly, you know, the, the things will overflow. So yeah, I've just been told you've got to do the red ones before the, uh, the white ones. But meanwhile, of course, little man's in here, so uh, we can't, can't do that. We're going to need to wait for them to get through and start to uh, get their gates closed. So I've just opened the white one, you can see the water's all uh, tipping into pound. It's really quite clever the way they do it, it's so the water's not wasted as you're going up and down. They sort of save some of the water in the, uh, in the side pounds. Well, we've reached the uh, middle pound, so this is the, uh, the bit that separates the, the two staircase uh, flights of five flights each. So halfway there, and uh, this one, the, the rod and the side pound, the, the, the bit. And this was built originally, so the boats, you know, going up and down, there's a place for them to pass, because obviously there's only one boat per, <laughs> per lock, so you can go all the way up or down. But happily, everybody's going up at the moment, so there's no waiting. So you have to wait for a while for this uh, pound to fill up as well. Basically, it's, it's almost like a large, huge lock itself. So the water's flowing down from the, pre the, uh, the upper lock and then we'll be able to uh, open the gates up at the, uh, the next one. Yeah, the lady warned me they get uh, harder as they go up, and not just because you're getting tired, they definitely get stiffer. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab the gear stick, yep. put it into neutral now, so just pull it to the middle. And when we're nearly past the gate, do a little bit of reverse so it just slows it down and stops it.
Don't close those, yeah. Close the white one, then close the gates, and then go to the red one and open that. And then as soon as you open the red one, you can open the white. Look at your stern now. As soon as you not see much, not see much. Right, that's fine. That's fine. Put it back into neutral. So I'll still go forward, they can close it. Then you can just do a little, little bit of reverse and it'll stop the boat. Yeah. And keep it there because then we want to gently go back towards and then stop right. it. Yeah, stop it now. You might have to go forward again in a minute because when the sluice is open, the boat will naturally go backwards. Okay. You need to oh, there they are. That's the one there, yeah. yeah, so both things are shot and then open the red one. And then as soon as the red one's open, you don't have to wait, you can open the white one. Who ever thought I'd be an expert on a Foxton Locks oh, and then yeah. it's all relative though, isn't it? Yeah. Right. So Ed, thank you very much for the uh, Locking instruction. You're more than welcome. They're actually quite nice locks. They're not very They're leaky. Lovely, they yeah. don't have to. Uh... Oh, that yeah, that so do I go a bit? No, just just no, let fine. it go. We're yeah. fine. Just watch the uh, fender at the back. Yeah. No, we're near. We're now going. Yeah, that's fine. We're going up. Now we're gonna go reverse. Yeah. Keep it away from the sill. Keep it in reverse until it moves and then when it starts moving. That's fine, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to take it to the next one? Yeah. Harry's going up. Well, it's not. You can't help being ill, Harry. You can get out of it. Take it off you in a year's time when it's finished, okay, Stephen. We'll All right. Then, yeah, we'll we'll swap then. Yeah. Going up. First floor, ladies' lingerie. Right.
this is the life. Isn't it just? Again, thank you, Ed, very much. You're welcome. I will have to get off soon, but let's maybe not just crash this boat first. Be a nice fitting ending. But again, thanks. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. celebrating my first uh, hands-on experience in Narrowboat and yeah. the start of Ed and Rachel's cruise with uh, with Jed and Tina down to their new mooring. You got a mug for? So, cheers everybody. Yeah. Well, that was uh, absolutely fantastic. And, uh, as you can see, much uh, vastly improved mood. So I've also, uh, I said, I have to thank, thank Ed and Rachel so much for, for that. Uh, so much better <laughs> sort of having a first go on a friend's boat rather than some, uh, some trip boat or some instructor's boat that you're a bit worried about. Uh, yeah, so, uh, uh, and it also occurred to me that uh, I'm way behind on editing all these videos, so this is not probably going to go out for a couple of weeks, but uh, I'm aware that the last, the, the last video you saw I was quite, uh, quite miserable, and uh, you might, you know, it's going to be a while since you see this, but I just want to, if you are worried, and um, this is not all about me, but uh, it's only, you know, the Queen's death which upset me so much was Thursday, it's only Tuesday now, so only six days, so, you know, I'm, I'm back to normal now, everything is good, and, uh, yeah. Anyway, that was absolutely yeah, wonderful. I need to remind myself that uh, when I'm in the uh, when I'm in the disco ball prison cell, which sometimes it feels like inside that boat with nothing other things, that actually, in at some point, and I'm not going to give a date, I will be doing this on my own boat, and it's all going to be worth it. Anyway, catch you later. And a PS. I, mean, I overthink things, but just just to say, when I referred earlier to my. Uh, uh, disco ball prison cell. It's not that I'm regretting uh, doing this, but as you can imagine, sometimes when you're uh, when th when some of the tasks seem never ending, your enthusiasm can ebb a little, and uh, it does feel like it will never end. I'm not that regret. I'm not. I'm not regretting doing this in any way whatsoever. That's for sure. But uh, yeah, I will be glad. I'll be so glad when I'm actually on the water.